Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by the channel and for those of you who are subscribing, I appreciate it. All the likes, all the subscribes are helping the channel. So, thanks. I want to talk about my camera gear. Lately, I decided that it was time to part with some of my equipment. You probably noticed there's something lurking in the corner over here. We'll get to that in a moment. But let's talk about the camera gear. For years, I've been shooting with DSLRs, right? The D200, the D300, D500, the DF. My first foray into digital started with a D50, and images from that camera was really great, and I loved it. Back in my younger years, I shot with Canon and Yashica, and when I went digital, I decided to go with Nikon. Why did I decide to go to Nikon? Because I heard about their great collection of lenses over the years and how great they were. And of course, when you get into anything new, when you're just starting out, funds are not always readily available. So what did I do? I picked up a lot of used lens. So the majority of my collections of lens were used, but good quality ones. I did have a few new, like the 70 to 200, uh, 51.8, I didn't really delve into that 1.2 or anything along those lines, but they were sitting around in my cases not being used because photography has always been my side gig. My main gig is a computer tech, took up a lot of my time, and as layoffs started to happen, you had less people around, so I had less free time to actually, you know, take off and go shoot. So fast forward to 2021, and now I'm into YouTube. So my needs have changed. I've been checking online to find places where I can get the best prices for my gear. And MPB has been the one that consistently have given me great prices. So I ended up selling my DSLR bodies and my DF to MPB. I really didn't like partnering with the DF. It was a manual based camera. Well, actually it was manual based fully, but when I used it, I stuck it in manual mode and used all the dials on it to do whatever I want. Like that's slowing down, strict photography, just like you used to do in the old days. None of this automatic stuff, all manual. And speaking of manual, you know, my Voigtlander lens was a nice walk around lens, good weight, really worked well with that camera. KEH recently had a buying event in my area so I decided to take the rest of my gear and sell it. That included all the lens that I had left over because since I went mirrorless, my preference is to use the lenses that were designed for the mirrorless camera. While I still use some of my DSLR lenses, I didn't use them as much because I found the picture quality and the focusing was a whole lot better with the 24 to 70 F4 that I got with the camera. So everything is gone. I did take my Z6 as well, just to see what I could get with it. In the back of my mind, I was hoping the Z9 was sitting around there and some early stock that I could pick up. That wasn't the case. So, look in here, Z6 II. So what did I do? I gave up the 24 to 70 F4, the 50 MC that I got, I wasn't too happy with that one. I had some issues when trying to do macro, the handheld stuff didn't work well. And yes, I know some of you guys are gonna tell me I should use a tripod, but some of my work from my travels have always been done handheld and they came out fantastic. Yes, I admit I'm getting old, so I know that things are gonna get a little bit shaky, but I've always wanted a 105. And lo and behold, I decided to order one. That was gonna take a while to come in. So when I was in the store, they had 24 to 70, so I decided, let me get that because I will need something to utilize the camera now that my F4 was gone. And I always wanted a 24 to 70 F2.8 lens. I did have an older Tokina one, but I wanted something for this new camera to utilize. 
in utilizing this lens, the weight on the body of the camera is actually pretty good. It has pretty good balance. And I picked it up and shot with it, tested it in the store to do video handheld. Of course, it's only a short period of time, but the videos were stable. This lens does not have vibration reduction, but just the weight of the body and the lens on it, you know, you kind of have that better balance rather than a light lens sitting on it. So I decided, what the heck? I did get a pretty good amount of credit I was gonna hold on to some of it, but the way they work, you either get store credit, which is more than what you would get for taking a check. And my purpose was to upgrade my lens. So I took the store credit, read it around to the Photoshop, and bought these two. Actually, I guess I should put these in front. So this is a Z6 II. So my purchase, the Z6 II and the 24-70 f2.8. I really wanted to get the Z6 II because of the dual card slot. And from what I've been reading about how the focusing system is compared to the Z6. Now I have to say that the Z6 in the last firmware update actually did get better with the focusing. But I'm aware that there's another firmware update coming out to, for this camera that should make it perform even better. So I'm hoping to see what that's going to do to improve this camera. The Z9 is pricey. It's not something I really, really wanted to get, but for the video features, it was really good. I figure Nikon is going to probably come out with a Z6 or Z7 replacement or a Z8, don't know what they're gonna call it. Probably by next year, next November or so, we'll probably see something that will have some of those better features. Of course, it's gonna be priced even more than these because my guess will probably be slightly bigger so it can handle some of these extra recording codecs and extra runtime without overheating. Who knows if they'll actually give you two hours plus in that camera, but even one hour and change I think would be good. So now that we've replaced the camera, you should look for some more photography stuff coming from me. In addition, I'm also planning on utilizing this camera more for video. The camera I'm shooting on right now when I'm inside the house, my makeshift studio, is a Panasonic HCX1. It's a camcorder, it's pretty good, and actually I like the quality from it. If I don't get the lighting right, it gets a little bit grainy, but that's me, that's you know, on me to get things better. I'm probably gonna sell a Panasonic as well, and probably pick up another Nikon, but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with just yet, so for now, this works well, and I'm gonna keep utilizing that one. I wanted to keep this short and not go too long, just to update you on the changes and what's coming next. In the future, there's gonna be some other changes, which I'll talk about in another video. So look forward to that one. Thanks for sticking with me. Take care and see you next time.